There are so many ways to make a guy fall for you, to make him come chase you, to make him come after you, to make him stay committed, to make him love you. But I want to give you one right now. There's so much data in the world about what guys like. I want to give you one. And I'm telling you this one because I know myself. I know my guy friends and I know men. What I'm telling you is one of the biggest secrets you need to know about men. This secret right here will completely change the way he interacts with you, the way he sees you, the way he loves you. You have to know his sport or his passion. Let me break it down for you. If he's into sports, let's say he has a favorite team. He's from Chicago, so he likes the Chicago Cubs. You have to understand the dynamic of your relationship and your inner working with him, as well as what motivates him or what makes him laugh. Here's the deal. If he's a Chicago Cubs fan, you can also support the Cubs, and that's going to give him love. That's going to give him support. That's going to give him partnership in something he's really passionate about, which is his sport team, the Chicago Cubs. As men, we seek our identity through our sports teams because we love competition or we love having an identity. Hey, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan, or whatever it is, Minnesota Timberwolves fan. So as his woman or potential woman, what you want to do is understand, okay, he's a Cubs fan. So I'll be a Cubs fan or be a St. Louis Cardinals fan which is the Cubs rival, or the Chicago White Sox, which is the Cubs rival as well. So now you guys can go to the Cardinals versus the Cubs game. He can wear his Cubs jersey, you can wear a Cardinals jersey, and then there's still a camaraderie, there's still a, a competition inside of the event. Now again, this depends on your take and your angle on sports as well. I mean, if you're truly a St. Louis Cardinals fan, then you know, be true to you. Don't just switch up just for the sake of switching up. But if you're neutral on sports and you don't care about sports, one of the best things you can do is care because he cares. You got to understand how men think. The way you see romantic movies where there's a male lead who uh, walks over mountains and goes to space and, and, and does everything in his power to somehow attract and keep the love of a woman, which to us men is super unrealistic, right? Creates unrealistic expectations, which is why we don't like those movies. We genuinely don't like those romantic movies. They're not entertaining to us. They actually make our job in dating harder. But how many guys will sit there and watch what we call chick flicks? How many guys will do that? Most of them will do that. And the reason we do that is because we know you're into that type of stuff. You might like that kind of movie. You might like a chick flick because it's entertaining to you. It feels good to you. So a supportive guy who's a smart man is going to watch those movies for you because that's what you care about. So you return the same favor when it comes to sports. You may not be an Arizona Cardinals fan, but if he wants to go to a game, you go you find out about football, about the players, about the coaches, and you find out because the alternative to you going is him calling up his best guy friend and saying, hey, bro, let's go to the game, which he has no issue doing. But as his woman, your goal should be to fill the voids that his guy friends can fill. So being versatile on all ends, being able to go to those sporting events is going to make you the best catch for him. Now, here's the thing. Always be true to you. If you hate football or hate basketball, baseball, whatever it is, if you truly hate the sport, then, you know, hate the sport. Be, be true to you at the end of the day. But understand that this tip is one of the most important things to understanding men. Now, you might have a guy who is not interested in sports, which is why at the beginning I said sports or passion. He may not be interested in sports. All guys are not into sports. All guys are not jocks. And if a guy is not into sports or if he's not a jock, that's okay too. But all men have a passion or they have something that they're into. So if you have a guy who's into, say, traveling or playing the guitar or welding, making tables, whatever it may be, be into his passion. 
because as men, we aren't truly allowed to hourly share all of our passions with the world because some of our passions are not socially acceptable, right? You may have a guy who's really into fashion and that may, that may not be super acceptable. So whatever it is that he's really into as his woman, as his partner, as his potential partner, be into what he's into. At least a little bit, at least enough for him to introduce it to you. If he's into making documentaries and making movies, then sit with them and ask him questions about his editing process or his composition or what he's shooting, things of that nature. Anything that your man is into, if you don't know where to start, maybe you're a little embarrassed to ask him, just Google, right? Just Google it. Maybe he works at Apple and he's really into Apple products. You can Google some Apple product information and that will give you an upper hand when you go ask him, hey, babe, what's this? How does this work? Tell me more about this. Figure out a way to make it so he can enjoy his passion and his sport at a higher level, at a more frequent level too. So if you know he's a Cubs fan, go get Cubs tickets for twice this upcoming season. Grab him a jersey. Do something nice to enhance his experience inside of his passion or his sport. It will change the way he sees you.